I'm also the first of my family to have left. Mm. You make up for it by visiting every year? I certainly do. Mama, Papa, look up here! Steven! Steven, come down here before you fall. In Paris, he was so, so cultured. After only a month here, he's become like a mountain man. Even carries a rifle. Paris, he was French. Here he's learning what it's like to be an Armenian. Don't grudge him that. Father! I found the cave. And? Look, there might be more. I'm sure. You know, some museum in Europe might display these coins, and the sign below them will read, Found by Stephen Bagradian. Can we stay in Lusada a little longer? You've been out of school long enough. We're going back to Paris. Then Father and I will stay. Oh, the little half-breed is independent. Just remember, part of you belongs to me. That half is French. So I like it here. There's a school in the village, and I have more friends here than back at home. Can I stay? Please? If we did that, we'd never get you back to civilization. You're going back to Paris with us, and that's that. I should really send you both to Switzerland. With this endless war going on, we'd both be safer that way. Get going. There's a lot to do. Can I continue packing? Yes. For all of us. Wonderful. just for some French tobacco. <laughs> he has guts for his age. <laughs> Give me your rifle, son. I'm glad you're a reasonable man. Bravo! Caro! Excellent discipline. The deserters have learned the discipline of the Balkan Wars under your command, Captain Bakradian. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Kelikian. Of course, I was just a private then, but I was very proud to serve under one of the Bakradians. Besides, who doesn't know the famous Bakradians throughout the empire? Import, export. Constantinople, Vienna, Paris, New York. <laughs> what happened to you? Why are you hiding like this? I was in the army till five months ago. All the Armenians in my battalion were disarmed and sent to the work camps. Me and the others realized that something very strange was happening. So we went home to get our families. Your families are with you? Not mine. I couldn't make it home in time to save them from relocation. Now we all live up in the mountains, in caves and rock shelters. How terrible. Yes, lady, but we're still alive. You really don't know what's going on, do you? Kilikian, my villa is open to you and your men. No, thank you. We don't want to be spoiled. Can you use this? Can you find ammunition for it? Live off the land, you know. Take the bag, too. Am I missing something? Yes, Juliet. But so am I. And when I find out what's happening, we'll all know, right? Right. Let's go. Race you home.
Jamal? Yes, sir. He's on the patio. I'm Jamal, sir. Jamal. Gabriel, my friend. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Wonderful to see you. And the beautiful Madame Juliet. Hello, Jamal. Nice to see you. Stephen, my boy. Stephen, you grow bigger and bigger every year that I see you. Jamal, your deputy, Alina Steve, said to me that you had gone to Constantinople. Is that right? Yes, Gabriel, I did. Well, why are we all standing here? You know that my house is always open to you. Come. Gabriel, my friend, I would like to speak to you alone, if I may. Please. All right. Darling, can you get us some, something to drink? Certainly. Madame. Come, Stephen. Well? You're a traveled man, Gabriel. You know the world. There are lots of things I don't understand. What's the problem, Jamal? All my life, I thought the only difference between Turk and Armenian was religion. I never thought of us as being different races. Not until these last few months. Well, there's no reason for us to change the way we feel about one another just because of that. Before your family built the trade up in these villages, we were starving, Turk and Armenian alike. My grandparents told me that. And your family has always been generous. Tell me what you need, Jamal, and you've got it. No, no, Gabriel. This time it is I who can help you. The governor's reserve contingent is taking over the law enforcement in Musada. The order came today. And what will the governor do? Disarm the Armenians. Everybody will be relocated into the Syrian desert. A lot of us Turks have lived with you in peace, Gabriel. We don't want this. Would you like a drink? You know we're having our farewell party tomorrow. We expect you and your wife. No, no, thank you, Madame Juliet. I, I must get back on duty. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing important. You're scaring me with all this secrecy, Gabrielle. Look, Juliet, I'm going to get our passports tomorrow. By day after, we could be on a Greek freighter headed home. I forgot to tell you, Simon and his children volunteered to help with the party preparations. Simon. So, you're going to Antioch to try to get your passports back. Good luck. <laughs> A lot has happened in the last few days, Simon. I'm glad you came. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Simon, none of the crops came in this year. How much food could we gather? I mean, how long could all the people survive? A month, perhaps. It's a strange question for a man who's leaving. <laughs> How many guns are there in Musabag? Well, I suspect there are... Every family has a few hunting rifles. Nothing more? How should I know? Well, you're the gunsmith. <laughs> I'm also the blacksmith, the locksmith. All right, all right. I see a, a Mauser and a carbine now and then. They bring all their old hardware to me to fix. 
blouses and carbines. Mm. How many? I have to know, Simon. We have 300 Mausers, over 100 carbines. They're left over from the 1908 revolution. The Young Turk Party passed them out and forgot to pick them up when they took power. Not many people know about them. Fewer even know where they're hidden. Ammunition, too? Enough. And they're in perfect shape, Gabriel. I dig them up myself every year and go over them one by one. I oil them and wrap them in goatskins. <laughs> We're a couple of old soldiers, Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> well, the secret is out. I knew those old Mausers would be used again. In the meantime, let's all get a good night's sleep. Oh, I haven't slept in a bed since my wife died seven years ago. No, oh, I take my jug of wine and my bugle and go out into the orchard. I drink a little bit. I blow a few cavalry charges just so she'll know I'm still thinking about her. Then I sleep under a tree. So you go to bed. I'm going to walk under the stars. Good night, sir. gift from Paris. What's this? Oh, I just thought you might uh, enjoy them. My name is Gabriel Bergradian, and I'd like to see the governor. He's busy. Yes, well, actually, I'm just here to... Um, Pick up my passport. Wait here. Probably should have thought about that myself. Wish I had the money. I'm here for the same reason you are. Only I've been here for hours. He hasn't moved once. Not even to go to the toilet has he moved. Maurice Durant. Only don't let the name fool you. You're traveling under an American passport. Gabriel Bergradian. How does a Frenchman come to travel with an American passport? Well, actually, I'm half Greek and half French, but American. I was born in Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Never heard of it. Well, until the last couple of weeks, I hadn't heard a whole lot about Musa Dog either. <laughs> I was just.